Hi, I'm Mickey Gousset. Welcome to this video on what is Azure Pipelines, a primer. In this video, we are going to cover at a very high level what Azure Pipelines is and why you should care. We will start the discussion off with an explanation of continuous integration and continuous delivery, CICD, which then leads naturally into an explanation of Azure Pipelines. We will explain the different tooling and languages that Pipelines supports, as well as explain the difference between classic Pipelines and YAML Pipelines. Finally, we will wrap up this video looking at a couple of simple Pipeline examples that we will build off of in the future. So, what is CICD? This is a term we hear a lot now in the tech industry. CI refers to continuous integration. You use a CI system to automate builds and tests for your project. In a perfect world, every time you commit to your repository, you run a build and tests, hence continuous integration. This allows you to catch bugs earlier in the development cycle. The CI system produces artifacts that are then used in the deployment process. CD stands for Continuous Delivery. You use a CD system to automatically deploy and test your code. It is usually used to deploy code to multiple environments. Think dev, then QA, then prod, and deploys the artifacts created during the CI process. In a perfect world, on every commit, your CI process would run, generate new artifacts, and then kick off your CD process, which would automatically deploy those code changes into your different environments. So how does Azure Pipelines factor into this? Azure Pipelines is a service that is part of Azure DevOps that provides CI-CD capabilities. It works with a variety of languages and platforms and can deploy to most major cloud services, as well as to on-premises environments. Azure Pipelines supports the creation of pipelines in two main modes, Classic, via a GUI, and YAML Pipelines. More on this in a moment. Azure Pipelines has been designed to work with most languages, such as Python, Java, JavaScript, Ruby, and C Sharp. It can be linked to a variety of version control systems, including GitHub, GitHub Enterprise, Azure Repos, Bitbucket Cloud, and Subversion. And it can be used to deploy code to multiple targets, such as container registries, virtual machines, on-premises environments, and multiple cloud environments. When you start creating your Azure Pipelines, you have two options, Classic and YAML. Classic Pipelines are created and configured using the Azure DevOps Web Portal. They are created using a graphical user interface, or a GUI. All changes related to the pipeline are tracked and shown in the web portal. YAML pipelines are defined in a YAML file or files, which are just specialized text files, that live in your source code repository. This means that the files are versioned along with your source code, which makes it easy to promote the pipeline along with your code changes. Now that we have given you an initial overview of Azure Pipelines, let's look at some examples. In this demo, we are going to look at two build pipelines, one classic and one YAML, that accomplish the same thing. Here, I'm showing you a classic build pipeline. This pipeline is very simple. All it does is write out a couple of strings to the command line. Here, 
we are defining the type of machine we want to build with. In this case, a Linux machine running Ubuntu. Run a one line script is a task that, as you can see, runs a simple script that simply echoes out hello world to the command line. This script, run a multi line script, is the exact same task as above, and as you can see, it just echoes out a couple of different lines of text to the command line. This is developing a pipeline using the GUI, or in classic mode. Now let's look at what the same script looks like as a YAML build. This is a YAML build definition that does the exact same thing as the classic pipeline we previously looked at. You can see that under pool VM image, we are defining what build servers we want to use, in this case, an Ubuntu Linux server. We are then defining two script tasks, which write out the same values that the classic pipeline used. In this video, we covered at a very high level what Azure Pipelines is and why you should care. We explained continuous integration and continuous delivery, CICD, which led into an explanation of Azure Pipelines. We explained the different tooling and languages that Pipelines supports, as well as the difference between classic pipelines and YAML pipelines. Finally, we looked at a couple of simple pipeline examples. Thanks for watching.